The Romans purified their water all along the aqueduct. To remove sediments and impurities, the water passed through settling tanks. These decanters, lined with waterproof mortar, were usually located near the water source and or just before the aqueduct entered the city. Water entered through the top of the tank and flowed slowly through a series of chambers. This allowed suspended particles to settle at the bottom under the force of gravity. Because the cleanest water remained at the surface, the outlet was placed just below the entry point. The size and number of chambers depended on the quality of the incoming water, the flow rate and the needs of the city. That's why these decanters varied so much in design, from modest basins to complex multi-chambered systems. The La Malga cisterns in Carthage, Tunisia are a stunning example. The decantation process constantly left a layer of sediment at the bottom. Some basins had a special outlet to evacuate this deposit, but in many cases it had to be removed manually by slaves. In some aqueducts, Roman engineers also created small sedimentation pits. These clever features gently slowed the flow just enough to trap sediments and impurities. Once again, Roman engineering proves its genius, blending grand design with meticulous practicality.